What is that? You want to pop this? Cynthia, you know I love you. You know you're my love, you're my life, you're my heartbeat, you're my emotions, you're everything that I live for. And I love you. I just want to spend the rest of my life with you. What in the world? <laughs> Baby, you have uh, accepted me for my past. You're here for me for my present. Now I want you to be my forever. It's Justin Diego back with another binge ready video. And today, I want to talk about how Cynthia Bailey just made Housewives history, becoming the first real housewife to get married twice on television, and how her fabulous wedding brought so many of our faves all the way down to Atlanta. Cynthia Bailey really showed out y'all in this royal wedding, looking absolutely stunning in her beautiful rose gold lace gown, featuring these stunningly gorgeous jewels and crystals that looked like they were perfectly hand placed. Right next to her black king, Mike Hill, who rocked a tailored black and silver look. And I really thought that his look was even more special whenever it was revealed that the inside of the jacket had a very special message for the big day. And while I'm at it, I definitely want to shout out the Black Queen who made Cynthia's gown, Nika C. Alexander of Brides by Nona, and all of this Black excellence is just giving me everything that I need. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. <laughs> Yes, Cynthia Bailey had over 250 guests representing the best of black excellence down at the Governor's Town Club, right outside of Atlanta. Cynthia and Mike exchanged vows in front of some of the most esteemed guests in the city, including her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars, Candy Burris, Kenya Moore, and former Real Housewives castmate, Eva Marcel, who all served as bridesmaids. Now, I really like that the attire for the evening was all black, but the bridesmaids definitely stood out in their elegant white gowns. Yes, and make no mistake, other Bravo celebrities attended the event like the Grand Dom, Karen Huger, and Giselle Bryan of The Real Housewives of Potomac, who all linked up for a beautiful photo capturing Housewives greatness, and I was so happy to see Sheree with Phil in the mix, and you know, I'm just saying, she definitely fits well within this group. And I was shook to see Portia Williams looking stunning in her all black, and honestly, she looked so good that if I was Cynthia, I would have turned her away at the door because she looked like she was trying to outshine the bride. I'm just saying. G-A-R-B-I-T-C-H. Garbage! Even Marlo, who allegedly basically missed all of the nuptials arriving late, had her name on the list. I feel like everybody attended this ceremony except me. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing because I was just like, okay, well, it's going to be intimate friends and family and stuff. But I saw the hashtag on Instagram. I saw all these folks in there all black. And naturally, <laughs> I was bitter. Sir, I don't see your name on the list. It's fine. Um, Cynthia follows me on Instagram. She probably just got way too busy to remember to send me an invite. You know how it is. Actually, I don't know how it is. It's Justin Diego back with another... Sir. Sir. Just let me in. Sir. Your name ain't on it's the list. It's Justin Diego back Sir, with... Sir. Your name is not on the list. Now, I'm going to need you to get out of here. Ooh. Hello? Yes. Police? Um, I'm here down at the Governor's Town Club, and I see over 200 people in here, and they are not wearing any mask. Well, in the state of Georgia, masks are not exactly required, ma'am, sir. Well, ma what if I told you that they are African Americans? Oh, well, that's all you have to say. We are on our way. 
Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill definitely switched it up and got into something a little more comfortable for their reception, both rocking all white. Oh, Yes, Cynthia wasn't playing and her curves definitely fit perfectly into this gown as they enjoyed their first dance. Everyone attending the event seemed to be having such a great time and I definitely have to shout out Eric Robinson on Instagram for taking all of these stunning photos of Cynthia Bailey at the wedding and for sharing so many amazing moments on his Instagram story, you know, for those of us who were not on the list. Like this beautiful moment from Mike's mom, who had everyone emotional. You know gold when you pass. Mm. And this is gold. Gold is solid. Yes. Speaking of beautiful moments, I was happy to see that Cynthia's daughter, Noelle, was having such a great time. And I was happy that her father, Leon, wished the newlyweds well, even though he could not attend the wedding himself. Cynthia, you've been a supermodel. A super mom to our beautiful Noelle. And now, today, you start the first day of being a super wife to Mike Hill. I congratulate you both. I'm sorry I couldn't be there when I'm filming out of the country, but I'm there in spirit and in love through our daughter Noelle. I wish you all the best. I'm really happy for you. Much love. Now before I go, I definitely want to shout out Fredio, Eric Robinson, and all of the photographers who allowed me to use all of their photos in this video today. And shout out to all the black queens and their amazing companies that helped pull this whole wedding off. I'm kind of sad that Bravo chose not to capture this amazing moment for the cameras, but it really won't be the first time that them hoes have been accused of acting funny lately. Don't you feel stupid? <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of looking like a joker? I'm just wondering, like, don't you ever get tired of playing yourself? How embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing. And Miss Hill, if you're watching this video, I forgive you for leaving me off the guest list this time. Now, I'll still take a commemorative bottle if you have any of those left. You know, the ones that you gave to the people who made the list. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I will see y'all on the next one.